right, we're going to use Excel to find the requested measures of center and spread for the following sample data set. So these are statistics that we're being asked to find because remember statistics are measurements from a sample and parameters are measurements from a population. So we're going to find the following sample statistics listed below here. The mean, the median, the mid-range, the minimum, the maximum, the range, and the standard deviation. All right, this is really very easy to do with Excel. All of these, almost all of these have a function we can use that's already built into Excel without any special extras added into the application. So just your standard Excel, you should be able to do this, and you should probably be able to do the same thing using Google Sheets as well. So I'm going to start with an equal sign every time I calculate something. And then for the mean, it's just the average. So you can see that after I type in a few letters, there are some op options here. And the first one is the one I want. It returns the average, the arithmetic mean of its arguments, which can be numbers, names, arrays, or references. So I'm going to go ahead and double click that and then select all of my data and press enter. Now for the median, the median. Um, as you can see, there's a median function here. After I've typed in the median, I'm going to double click that and again select my values. Now the mid-range, that actually I think we're going to calculate after we get our min and our max. So let's go ahead and get our minimum. The minimum number is the smallest number in the data set. I'm going to press enter and then there's the max. Okay, see how easy this is? And then the range is just the maximum minus the minimum, enter. And then the mid range is the middle point of the range. So not half of the range, but middle of the range. So that means halfway in between these two values. So what you wanna do is actually average the two extremes, the min and the max. We're averaging the minimum and the maximum to get our mid middle of the range. 30.1. And if you were doing that with a mathematical, it means just finding the midpoint is when you add two numbers together and divide by two. So if I just add these two values together and then divide that quantity by two, see I get the same answer there. And then there's the standard deviation, which is simple with just standard STDEV will get you either the population standard deviation or the sample standard deviation. If it's dot P, it's for the population, and dot S is for the sample. And you can see that it says that. This one says it calculates the standard deviation based on the entire population. That's the dot P one. And then the dot S one says it estimates the standard deviation based on a sample. So that's the one we want. Let's double click the STDEV dot S function and then select our values and press enter. And it's easy peasy lemony squeezy.